So in this video, we're going to take a look at two things that you absolutely must not do if you're planning a holiday or a day trip over here to Sawyer Town. Now, I'm in the beautiful hilltop town of Sawyer today. It's one of the most popular hilltop towns here in Mallorca. It does not need any introduction at all. And it has got so popular over the past couple of years to the point that the, the town really is experiencing some tourism saturation. Now, I've just had to park up here on the road and my very first first don't for this video is do not bring your hire car to Sawyer Town simply because there's very little parking here. You can see the sides of the main road here coming into Sawyer are absolutely ram-packed with cars and driving into the centre of the town isn't much better either. So if you do not want to spend the best part of your day trip driving around trying to find parking and waiting for someone to leave their space, I would really recommend taking the public transport in the form of either the TIB public bus or the Ferrol Carril as well, which we're going to go over and check out in this video, so keep watching. But for now, let's take a walk down into the centre of Sawyer and see what it's like today. Now we're just taking a really a beautiful approach down this little lane into the side of Sawyer town. You can see I'm right on the edge of the town here. You can see the centre of the town and the main square, Plaza Constitucio, with the main church. It's just in front of me here, so we're going to head off in that direction. So this very beautiful building which I'm passing here, just coming on into Sawyer, it looks like a church. It's not a church, it's actually a concertada private school here in Sawyer town. You can just see little playgrounds here, but what an absolutely gorgeous building. I can imagine it was a convent back in its day. But let's head on down into the old town. So it is approaching 2.30. I think we're going to go and take a quick look up at the train station and see how busy it is with this train coming in this afternoon. I can see the 2.30 train has just got into the little train station here in Sawyer. Let's see how busy it is. In the meantime, I can see a tram is coming up past the tram stop here. Now, my goodness me, I thought I was coming up here to see really quite an empty train arriving here in Sawyer town. It's 2.30, so my guess is, is that the really busy trains will be leaving at around 10 or 11 o'clock in the morning. And I thought now may be a better time to travel. I was hoping to give you guys a top tip. But it seems that the train arriving into Sawyer at 2.30 is going to be just as busy as all the others leaving Palma in the morning. This might be quite an iconic statue here on, in a train station in Sawyer. It may reflect how the residents may be feeling actually by the thousands of tourists that pour into Sawyer town every single day. Now, I do have a top tip for you if you are coming here on the train. Book your tickets online. You can get a train and tram combo deal for 25 euros, which is a little bit cheaper than getting it for 32 euros. But always check the website before you book as well to make sure those tickets are still available. Now, I do have a full guide to Sawyer and Port de Sawyer on my channel. I'll link that video in the description text below. I also have a couple of articles on my website all about coming to Sawyer for the day as well. So make sure you check that out too. And check out the queue here waiting for the tram to go down towards a port de Sawyer. Now, if you are coming in on that train that I just saw, if you do arrive in on the train, make sure you give yourself some time to do a little bit of sightseeing around the centre of Sawyer. I won't be getting the tram down there today. <laughs> I think I'll give it a miss. But we're going to head on into the centre of Sawyer and see what that is like now. the first tram here making its sort of way down to the port and this one is looking pretty packed. Yeah. 
Now, in spite of its busyness today, and it is a Sunday, we're quite lucky to see that there seems to be a little fair going on here in Sawyer Town. Now, this hasn't been very well publicised. I don't think it needs to be well publicised because today, Plaza Constitucio is filled with market stalls. It's normally quite quiet here on the Sunday, but as you can see, a lot of people have come down for the market. A lot of people have come down to grab a Sunday lunch. So it's going to take a little look around Sawyer Town Centre. Now, although it is a Sunday and although it should be quite a peaceful experience, it just isn't. Every single restaurant here is still packed. So if you're hoping to come over to Sawyer in October, particularly on a Sunday as well, when well, the residents do like to come out for a nice Sunday lunch with their friends and family, you're going to be hard-pressed to find an empty table here. And we are approaching 3 o'clock in the afternoon here and, well, it hasn't emptied out at all. Okay, so we're going to head in the direction that the tram has just headed off into. I'm going to show you the location of a couple of key hotels in Sawyer Town in case you're hoping to book a stay here. Now, I'm just passing the location of the weekly market, which we'll find here on a Wednesday and a Saturday. It's, it's closed today. Obviously, it's a Sunday, so it will not be open. You can't miss the huge pink building. If you want to see what a traditional New York market looks like, come along here on a Wednesday or a Saturday. So just two minutes walk from the centre of Sawyer town, you're going to find the Grand Hotel Sawyer. You may remember, actually, I did a hotel review here two summers ago, so I'll link that video as well in the description text below, so make sure you go ahead and check that out. Now, to get out away from the tourist crowds in the centre of Sawyer, I really recommend coming down some of the side streets here. And look, check this out. We've got an amazing Indian restaurant here, which is just two minutes walk away from Plaza Constitucion, and their table's free. So you needn't sit in the main square. And even this little bar here right next door to the Indian, look, they've even got their own little terrace here. We'll have views of the tram, which actually runs down towards the port from here as well. So this is another great place to come and sit. Again, it's totally empty. So my advice really is to get away from that main square. And tell you what, walking down here is so lovely and cool as well, because of course you're away from the direct sunshine. Now, I'm absolutely loving the effort that the neighbours have gone to here by putting these, these evergreen plants out on the cobbled walkway here. It looks so, so beautiful. And it's hard to believe, actually, that anyone actually lives in these buildings here. A lot of the, the apartments here are actually shuttered. But normally the shutters are, are kept closed to keep the heat of the day out. And trust me now, even in October, it's a very hot day today. We've got a high today of 28 degrees. So looking to my right hand side here, we've got lo more lovely cobbled streets, but we're going to head on back into the direction of the centre. Just coming up around the back of the uh, Can Pouge de Soya hotel as well. Looks very, very nice and peaceful in here. We're also coming past the Museum of Soyer as well. It's actually open during the weekdays between 10 and 2. Sundays it is closed, but there's a 5 euro charge to go in here. So if you're interested in seeing a little bit more about the history of Sawyer then maybe come during a weekday and they do have some art exhibitions on here too. One day I'll come and pay this a visit and I'll let you know what it's like. So we're coming back towards the centre now. Of course I can see some other lovely little restaurants in front of me. Which is why I do encourage you to leave Plaza Constitucio. Mm. 
and we're coming back into the centre of the town. Now just by coming through the main square here, I feel like the temperature has gone up considerably. It really is stiflingly hot over here as we approach mid-October. I'm just taking a shortcut around the stalls here because every single seat in the restaurant seems to be taken. But even though today we're seeing some closed shops and even, dare I say it, a, a, a restaurant that's closed today on a Sunday here in the square, it hasn't stopped the thousands of people pouring into the centre of Soyer. And I can see the tram coming back through the centre here. Making sure no one is actually on the tracks. Is it busy? It's not too bad actually. I think most people will be coming back from the port a little bit later on during the day. Okay, so from this short video, I hope you can see the benefits of firstly getting the public bus over here or the Ferrol Carril instead of bringing your hire car over here to this lovely hilltop town because even at this time of year, the town is so busy. Also, I just want to make the point as well that there is no reason to battle for seats in the restaurants in the centre of Plaza Constitucio because there's so many other little restaurants hidden in the side streets all around Soyer town. Now, I know that many of you are coming to Soyer maybe just for one time in your life, so you want the ultimate experience. But for me, the ultimate experience really wouldn't be packing myself into the tiny town square there. I would take myself away to the cooler, quieter streets that surround Plaza Constitucio, where you're going to find some, not only cheaper restaurants, but just a little bit, bit of peace and solitude as well. And that can't be too bad in a town this popular. OK, everyone, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget, you can find my full guide to Soyer and Port de Soyer appearing here on YouTube. You can also find another video as well, which I filmed down in Port de Soyer, appearing on YouTube just here too. Don't forget, you can also find me in the Facebook group and on my Instagram, also called Mallorca Under the Sun. And I look forward to seeing you on the next video. Goodbye for now.